I've heard several pronunciations for phenol. I've heard phenol, which is the one I prefer. I've heard phenol. I've heard phenol. Typically, I'm going to stick with phenol. If your instructor pronounces it differently, that is perfectly fine. These are what I call the big three aromatic compounds, and they are all related to this molecule here, benzene. Benzene is C6H6. Phenol is essentially a benzene ring, but instead of an H at this location, that H has been ripped off, and instead an OH has been inserted. Often the phenol molecule is written this way, C6H5OH. With toluene, instead of an H being here, we have a methyl group there. Sometimes toluene is called methylbenzene. I just prefer to call it toluene. Formula is often written like this, C6H5CH3. For phenols and toluenes, the carbon to which the OH or the CH3 is attached is carbon number one. Let's draw the structure for bromobenzene. We'll start by drawing benzene, and then we have a bromo substituent. It doesn't matter where that substituent is hanging off of. If we were to count atoms here, we have six carbons, one bromine, and then there are hydrogens hanging off of each of these other carbons. If we're calculating the molar mass, for example, we need to know how many carbons, how many hydrogens, how many bromines, so it is a good skill to be able to do this. Let's try the next one, ethyl benzene. Again, I'm going to start with a benzene, and now I'm going to put an ethyl group hanging off. Doesn't matter where. If we were to count up the carbons, we have six in a ring, and then there's number seven, and there's number eight, so that's eight carbons. If we're counting hydrogens, ten. How about this one? 2-propylphenol. Let's draw phenol, because we know we have that. And then, off of carbon number 2, we have a propyl group. Now, the one at the bottom here, where the OH is attached, is carbon number 1. So your propyl group could either hang off of this one here at 4 o'clock, or this one here at 8 o'clock. Either of those could be carbon number 2. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll put the propyl group right there. If we were counting up total atoms, we'd count six carbons in the ring, plus seven, eight, nine carbons. So nine carbons, one oxygen, twelve hydrogens. Now we have some structures and we need to write the names. This is clearly a toluene molecule, and it has two iodo substituents, so we want to say diiodo. Then we need to specify where those iodo substituents are. Remember, by definition, the carbon to which the CH3 group is attached, that is carbon number one. It's not the carbon in the CH3 group, it's the carbon in the ring that the CH3 group is attached to. That's carbon number one, and we want to get to the iodo substituents as quickly as we can. So let's number counterclockwise carbon number one, two, three, Four. So I think this is going to be 3,4-diiodo-toluene. How about the lower left? We look at that molecule. That looks like a phenol to me. There's carbon number one. Our other substituents are both amino groups. Now they look different. On the right we have NH2. We recognize that as an amino group. But on the left we have H2N. I wrote it that way because the part of the amino group that's hanging on to that benzene-like ring is the nitrogen, which is why I like to draw it such that it appears that it's the nitrogen, not the hydrogens, that are hanging on to the carbon. Both of these are NH2 groups, but on the left here I've written it H2N so that you can envision the nitrogen being the atom that's hanging on to this benzene ring diamino, and we need to number this. You can see that if this OH is connected to carbon number one, it doesn't matter if we number clockwise or counterclockwise, either way we're going to get 2,6-diaminophenol. How about this last one? 
This one is a toluene molecule, indicated by the CH3 there. And then we have an NO2 group and an NO2 group, and here again, that you should be able to recognize as another NO2 group. So this is going to be trinitro, because there are three of them. And then we need to specify the locations of those nitro groups. If the carbon at the bottom of the ring is carbon number one, which it is, then the nitro groups will be 246 trinitro toluene. And that is the technical name for TNT, trinitro toluene TNT.